Hey guys, so today I wanted to talk about yoga and lotuses. So lotuses are actually a really important symbol in yoga and you might see them on yoga mats and on yoga paintings and who knows where you'll see it in your yoga studio but I'm sure it's somewhere because a lotus is a, is a flower that grows in the mud and then it bursts forth into the out of the mud and the murk, murkiness and the dirt of the water and it emerges as this perfect pristine beautiful delicate flower and so to be in the mud and to, to put in that that growth process that's not always beautiful it's not always amazing right it's dirty and it's hard and it's you you don't even see the light yet and then all of a sudden it emerges as something beautiful and that's how yoga is sometimes you're just struggling and struggling in an asana and you're struggling in your practice and then all of a sudden thing, sudden something clicks and then you feel lotus like right um, it's also a big symbolism in Buddhism but uh, Buddhism and yoga don't connect um, there isn't uh, a yoga asana practice, like the actual physical asana practice, doesn't connect with Buddhism. Although Buddhism and Hinduism share um, some similar um, thinkings about like reincarnation and samadhi, is similar to um, you know either Buddhist enlightenment and Hindu enlightenment it can be similar in certain ways in how they're described. So anyway, lotus is important in Buddhism, but not necessarily in yoga asana practice. The lotus flower, though, is a beautiful symbol in both traditions. Also, uh, there's Lotus Mudra, which you might be familiar with from the practice. Um, it's a beautiful mudra to practice. To mudra, again, means seal, and it's a conduit to help channel your prana and your energy in a certain way. Um, also, lotuses are, um, what I like is my one of my yoga teachers in India, Himant, at Punya Yoga. He always would tell me in certain asanas to have a certain part of my body like a lotus, like a flower. He, you know, maybe you're standing in a firm way, but a part of your body is flower-like and how delicate you hold it. Because in all asanas, it's not complete power, direction, you know, purpose, strength. Say. Of course, there's this beautiful balance, this duality of the yin and the yang, of this passive delicate substance as well as this hearty you know active energetic um, aspect of the practice as well so I love that something that he always said to me is like have your back leg like a lotus have your your arm like flower and so I always like to remember that when I'm practicing and sometimes I get too uh, intense with my movements that it should be delicate like a flower so I hope you enjoyed my video about yoga and lotuses a little random today but hope it was something that maybe sparked something in you so I'll see you all over at my blog wildyogatribe.com